Hey guys, welcome back to the DX Gamer Show and my Sim City Let's Play for Wednesday, May 1st, 2013. My name is Operation DX, and we're gonna kick this episode with a time lapse while I play my single track, Say Goodbye. Again, that track was Say Goodbye, one of the very rare tracks that I actually did vocals on. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, that is available to listen to if you're interested to hear some of my other tracks that I've done vocals on on my SoundCloud. You can find links to my SoundCloud on my YouTube main page, and it's under Vocal Experimental. And if you want to get all crazy, um, you can actually pick it up for really cheap on Bandcamp. So if you're checking that out and you can't find them, they're kind of tucked away on my Bandcamp page. You basically got to go to the bottom right and click more releases, and then you'll find the two tracks that I did vocals on. And enough plugging myself with the music. Back to the SimCity building goodness here. During the time-lapse video, you basically saw me go from about 17,000 to almost 65,000 here. And now I'm filling in some of those other things that I haven't quite done in my city yet, such as the high school. And uh, we're going to do some other stuff now that we're making a huge amount of money, pretty much 14000 per hour. And we're going to pretty much crush that into uh, a sad shadow of its former self as we build some of those more advanced buildings. 
Now, I'm going to try to get all three of these super advanced buildings, the police precinct, the hospital, and the fire station. I may knock one of them over before all is said and done. And then, of course, I want to get tourism rolling out, and that's something we're going to actually do in the city. And like I said, we're going to do the Willis Tower, the Empire State Building... We'll go ahead and get the Expo Center up and running, and then there was one that was requested in the comments. I forget, but I'll look it up later. And now that we're making a ton of money, we're going to go ahead and give the citizens of our city a nice tax break if that were only true in real life. This is, of course, part of my strategy to get our 300,000 citizens in this city. If we get any more, it's a bonus, but my goal for this city is 300,000, and I don't even know if that's achievable, but we're going to try. As uh, we kind of had a little bit of a failure way back when with lost wages as we couldn't quite get our si casino city. I'm really hoping that I can accomplish at least this goal and not have two cities that are kind of failures. So we're going to get that 300,000. Darn it. I'm going to make sure. You're darn right we're going to get that 300,000. I'm going to make sure that happens. I'll spend all the money in the whole city to make sure that happens. See, even the mayor of Trenton is confident. So let's get it done, yeah? So I guess with all this low-level education going on, we'll go ahead and build the City College. And I think that will help promote uh, higher commercial stuff, such as offices and stuff. I'm not sure, but it is really cool how some of your cities definitely uh, conform to certain things. Um, like when you're, there's education stuff, different commercial buildings will pop up and stuff. I really like that. Of course, it makes sense with the industry. You get the higher tech industry, and that's uh, something you definitely want to do. But that's kind of a nice spot for the City College there, right next to the library. And we've got a couple of cool, nice, tall buildings coming in here. I was really hoping during that time lapse we'd see a lot more uh, development a lot more quickly. Um, it was okay. It was kind of cool, I guess. It was a, an excuse to play that track or whatever. And, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and throw in a couple of those tourism buildings. So here we've got the Empire State Building. And wow, that thing is a beast. But it's kind of fitting. It's going to look cool with all these buildings here. And what the crap did I just do? I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't even see the messages for these missions come up anymore. I click down on the ground and I'm forced into it. Is that part of the new 2.0 patch? Because I don't like it, Maxis. Stop it. It's irritating. It's crap. See, I can see the one above the uh, city hall. And then the other one there to the right, on the top right, I can see that one. But I didn't see that one. I just clicked it. And did it just happen as I was doing it? I don't know. That, uh, I didn't like it. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and throw the Willis Tower in here right next to the Empire State Building and then a block right over. And I think that's going to look cool for a centerpiece for our city. Awesome. And everyone's happy. And that's a good thing. So in a little bit here, we're going to see if that international airport does, in fact, help tourism. And I, I expect these things to be making a ton of money by the end here. Obviously, when you put them down right here in the beginning, they start losing money right off the bat. But I'm thinking that uh, they'll probably make us a ton of money. And dang it, man, that looks so cool with all the lights and stuff at night. The city's going to look cool, even though it's a boring layout with all grids and... Uh, I hate to do that because uh, it doesn't look um, all that spectacular. Fortunately, though, we have this kind of cool thing going on in the landscape where there's a kind of little bump in the, the landscape where we're kind of, you know, moving up on a hill a little bit. And we got those bigger buildings up in the hill. I think that looks pretty neat. Of course, we also got the train station. And now I'm going to put in one of those things that was also requested in the comments, the Maxis Man. And uh, this is the first time I've actually ever put this down. You guys get to see it for the very first time for me because I've never done it before. And it looks like we can send him out on a mission. And what is this? We get renown points. That's kind of interesting. And then what is that? Does that allow us to maybe upgrade his place? Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so they cost renown. Hmm... That's kind of interesting. Maybe we should throw the um, the evil one in here too to kind of have the superhero and villain battle it out, whatever. But that'll probably create a lot of crime. But hey, we already dropped down the police precinct, so it should be good to go here. I guess we'll just keep clicking on Maxis Man here and send him on, on, on missions because we don't have a lot else to do right now as we got a couple things in here. Um, I'm forgetting something, though. I feel like I'm forgetting something. And... Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it next episode if I forget this episode. I promise. I promise. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna throw in the Expo Center, but there's something else too. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the Expo Center in, and we'll wait for some people to fill that up, because I don't think we can start the events right away. We'll go ahead and plop the sign in as usual. You know how I like my signs, but uh, we'll stop with all the zooming in nonsense, because we've already seen all the signs quite a bit throughout this Let's Play series. Yes, we have. That is quite the four block utility area. We got the college, the library, a high school, the police, the fire, the clinic. Um, and then we got some of the recycling center trucks in there. Holy cow, we got so much stuff going on in that small block. And then we're going to go ahead and try to alleviate some of that front loaded traffic in the city. And we're going to place a whole bunch of these parking lots and hopefully that alleviates a little bit. Because as you can see, we're already getting a nice backup and we're only at 77,000 people. And uh, that's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And uh, I'm probably going to have to do something possibly with this uh, front intersection. And uh, I don't know, it may have been a mistake to throw that um, import-export facility right there in the front Because as all the traffic piles in there, none of those trucks are going to be able to get in and out And that is bad, okay? Because that's basically not going to allow me to make uh, that much money And uh, the recycling center will get backed up with plastic alloys and metals And uh, they won't be able to get to the import-export center And then when they actually do get to the import-export center The trucks coming in to pick them up and buy them off of me won't be able to do it it, and it's just gonna be a freaking mess. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching the DX Gamer Show and SimCity Let's Play. See you guys. Take care.